Hello, I'm William Gallagher. This is 58 Keys and I don't know, 58 Keys is about, it's about writing, it's about the business of writing, also very specifically about how writers like you and I can get more out of our Macs, our iPhones, our iPads and just right now I'm not certain that I'm really in the mood to get anything more out of them. I'm not panicking about the coronavirus, I'm not panic buying, I think I might be panic eating, but another story. But yet, somehow this is simultaneously uh, not a time for writers to ignore what's going on and yet a time when just maybe we need to a little bit. You're a writer. Uh, you have heard it said that we're lucky that we self-isolate anyway, and it's true. Uh, we like to uh, be writing, we like to be writing uninterrupted. But writers also can have the very flimsiest of incomes. So this may be a time when we can shut out the world and write, or it may not, but it's definitely a time when we need to stick together. I'm Deputy Chair of the Writers Guild of Great Britain, and I love that the Guild has put out advice for all writers. Uh, the Writers Guild is strongest when writers, when we join, when we stand together, and this is a time for that. I do urge you to join. But the Writers Guild, it works for all writers. Uh, the Guild knows what writers need to know. It knows what we have to worry about, and it knows our business, how it all works. It knows it better than anyone. So check out their advice. I'll put a link in the show notes. Okay, uh, I just, as well as that, I think we have a need to press on. Uh, we all do, but it's hard to press on as writers sometimes. Um, I would like to offer you a distraction. 58 Keys, it, it's always about these tools and services and systems and methods and everything by which we get more out of, you know, the Macs, the iPhones, the iPads, all these great tools we've bought. But this time, let's try this. I'm going to show you something excellent and not explain it to you. I get to feel like I'm showing you something useful and you get something else to Google other than coronavirus. Take a look at my Mac screen, please. Um, I've just finished a day here writing for an American website. You don't read anything too closely. I forgot to check what was on the screen. <clears throat> anyway, um, this is typical of my screen. I'm sure it's typical of yours, isn't it? Really, by, by which I mean it's a mess. Or is it? That was meant to be serious. What's this? That's Final Draft. We were going to be doing Final Draft this week. We'll come back to it. There's lots to say about it. And, and I think you get the idea just from seeing it. But it's not that my Mac has tidied away everything. It hasn't just hidden these other, this work stuff. It's quit and saved everything. Uh, it's quit everything that particularly would give me any uh, interruptions, any bleeps, any messages. And it's opened up the script that I'm working on at the moment. And uh, tomorrow morning, uh, if I'm back writing for the same place, a similar keystroke opens up all of the apps I had for that and in all of the positions so that I can just get straight back in to what I was doing. Now, uh, the thing to Google for this is Keyboard Maestro. Keyboard Maestro for the Mac. Uh, I mean, yes, this is Keyboard Maestro for the Mac, but really it is the smallest part. It that, What you've just seen is a pixel compared to what else this utterly brilliant, brilliant software brings to your Mac. A keyboard Maestro is a reason to buy a Mac instead of a PC. And to the extent I'm, I'm practically embarrassed to showing you this, as if this is the, I mean, this is great. I, it's my newest toy, I use it a lot. Um, but there's so much more. So uh, I'll tell you what, you Google Keyboard Maestro, and I'll go and think about how we can possibly cover it adequately. How we, we'll devote an episode 58 keys to it one day. I just, I don't know what we'll say in it. How much we'll put in, how much we'll leave out. It should occupy us very nicely, though, don't you think? Take care now. See you soon.